Hello all. This presentation is about code to cash process in Salesforce. This uh, code to cash process is nothing but a series of steps that happens between code generation process and the revenue collection of an organization. Uh, can you guys, uh, if you have an idea, can you guys, anyone tell what all are the uh, setups we do before generating codes, like in general? Like uh, what all are the steps, uh, what all are the uh, setups we do before uh, generating code? So we will uh, create products and standard price. Yes. We'll add a, a price books and then we'll create a code. Okay. Uh, uh, we should have an uh, opportunity, correct? We should have an account. Yes, yes. Without yeah. opportunity, and we cannot create. Yes, without opportunity is a, a first step um, to have an code. So the uh, here you guys see the second sentence. Uh, usually configuring uh, offers for a prospect. Prospect is nothing but here possible customers. So configuring offers uh, for a pros prospect is listed as the first true step for the QTC process. But uh, the opportunity to deliver a code is generally seen as the first measurable and concrete. QTC function. Uh, although uh, the first primary step is configuration, configuration of, of offers for the possible customer is a primary step. Uh, but uh, to have an opportunity is the prerequisite or uh, required step uh, to deliver a quote. So I will just uh, go to the steps. I will show you in the diagram itself. So if you guys see uh, seen here, uh, the steps flows in this way for the code to code to cash process. If you see uh, the first step, has uh, as I said, it is configuration of products, uh, product offers, additional discounts, all those things, along with configuration of pricing, and then uh, we'll have configuration of codes. We'll generate codes here. Uh, after that. Uh, approvals will happen, uh, court approvals will happen along with that uh, agreements like contracts between company and customer will be happen over here. Once that is done, order will be pro, pro, order will be placed and processed. And then uh, shipment also will be done here. And then after the shipment, we, uh, invoice, and, uh, invoice and billing will be done. Uh, customer will get billed, customer will be billed here. And then once they have an billing, customer will pay the uh, amount uh, for the product they got or the service they have received. Once uh, payment, customer payment has been done, the revenue will be generated for an organization. So this is the uh, full of uh, steps which will be happen in the code to cash process. Uh, but <laughs> in CPQ, in Salesforce, in Salesforce or CPQ, Salesforce CPQ, uh, you guys can see till here, you guys can do setup still order processing. Once uh, after order generation, you can't see these uh, steps, which, is, which are invoice billing, payments, revenue generations. For this, uh, you have to go to the uh, uh, separate module, which is a billing, sales for CPQ billing. There is a separate module uh, for sales for standard sales force and sales for CPQ, you guys can see till order processing the invoice billing payments everything uh, if you want to see those things will be available only in sales for cpq building there is a separate module called billing this all three uh, all the three steps which are below here showing here you can see those in, uh, building module also <coughs> this code to cash processor solution will be used in both standard salesforce and uh, salesforce cpq as well but uh, it is depends on the organization uh, about uh, how they wants this uh, code to cash. Like if there are any complex pricings are there, then uh, what uh, organization will do is if, uh, they will go for sales for CPQ. If any uh, complex pricings or they want robust pricings, robust quote, at that time they go for sales for CPQ. Otherwise, this code to process will be seen in standard sales for as well, if there are any simple pricings, everything can be done through standard Salesforce. 
itself but if in any cases if there are complex pricing or robust pricing or the organization wants to have their quote or pricing everything in a robust form then they go for sales for pbq with along uh, with this with this solution of quote, quote to cash this will be seen for your information this will be seen in both standard sales for as well as sales for pbq Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll just elaborate these steps more detail. Like uh, as I said, the primary step is uh, configuration of uh, offers, pricing, and quote. But the <coughs> required step is opportunity. We should have an opportunity in order to create a quote. So uh, first step is like opportunity to deliver a quote to prospect. as i already said for prospects is nothing but uh, possible customers who is going to become uh, customers in future so after then the second uh, step is uh, cpq which is nothing but uh, configuration of offer price and quoting configuration of quoting once that is done quotes uh, will be approve uh, quote approvals will be happens uh, from customer end and also along with agreements and contracts will be happen between customer and company here only uh, in addition here only you can see terms and conditions and uh, <coughs> and subscription things and renewal things all those things once everything will be done uh, once the agreement will be happen between customer and company then the order will get placed over here order will get placed in the next step and then order processing will be done and shipment will be done at the end nothing but delivery of product or delivery of order at the customer end so once everything will be our shipment illegal invoice or billing will get generated and it will be given to the customer and then customer payments will be happen once they, once customer have the billing they will pay the billing has per the bill has per the bill they get and then at the end the cash for the sale will be all collected and allocated nothing but uh, uh, accounting will be happen at the at in the end uh, accounting organization level for organization accounting will be happen uh, they get the revenue uh, they get the revenue from through the customer payments to the customer uh, payments whatever they then yeah this is uh, i have given you just a basic info like uh, how the flow will be happen for code to cash process these all are things uh, in background there are uh, functionalities you have to follow there are uh, there are steps there are processes you should have to follow i hope you have guys done uh, some of this uh, here already like opportunity creation like configuration of products prices quotes additional discounts how to configuration additional discounts quotes quote approvals agreements and grant right you guys uh, will be seen uh, will be see still order processing order generation in sales for cpq and as i said already this all three things you will be seen in different module which is a building and yes uh, these are some just uh, some additional steps for increasing sales yeah as uh, we already know uh, we use sales for for uh, cpq or sales for for better sales better uh, for more sales and we have to uh, in the code it will be comes under code to cash process itself uh, has an additional uh, additional steps a step like if you see guys here say keep additional values in mind the uh, sales reps has to uh, keep in mind there for the customer like uh, what they have to provide like cross selling and up selling and just cross selling and up selling is nothing but uh, cross selling is uh, offering whenever uh, customer is willing to buy some product uh, sales rep uh, or uh, our website itself or in software itself they have to offer additional products to the customers nothing but a cross selling and up selling is uh, showing additional uh, offering products with uh, offering enhanced products nothing but uh, if i give some example for cross selling if you say if customer is uh, if customer is uh, like uh, want to will to buy a product like uh, laptop 
then uh, they uh, they, uh, they will get uh, sales reps has to or software has to show them uh, products which are related to the laptop like uh, you you can say mouse keyboard printer all these are uh, related or additional products to the laptops uh, sales reps has to offer them this type of products uh, when customer willing to buy the uh, product like laptop and when it comes to upselling like uh, they have the customer uh, sales reps has to offer customers uh, like enhanced products if uh, like if you can say customer is uh, willing to buy a keyboard which is a wired keyboard then uh, they have to uh, they 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 get they they get they should have got an offers like uh, wireless keyboards uh, for for uh, for their sales if you guys uh, i just show you an example you will guys clearly understand see if you guys can see here the difference between cross selling and uh, selling here uh, customer is is wanting to buy a uh, mobile which is a keypad mobile but he will be shown uh, he will be shown to buy which is a smartphone which is an enhanced product for this product so uh, they have to show a uh, product a sales rep has to offer a customer with a better product with enhanced product that is nothing but upselling and when it comes to cross selling just uh, offering customers with additional products related products whenever a customer willing to buy some mobile smartphone Uh, they they get uh, additional products to offer like uh, what we say earphones or like a back covers or something screen guards everything that is nothing but uh, cross selling yeah this is also a part of some part of code to cash process uh, to make uh, to increase the sales activities to increase the sales and the next sentence is like uh, the data of all areas of the processes should be analyzed and reported nothing but uh, whatever the process happen whatever the sales happen in the process just uh, gathering data and analyzing and reporting it will be helpful in the future for when when, <coughs> when we do the next sale when sales reps do their next sales it will be helpful for them in their next sales yes uh, advantage uh, by employing a qpc solution you can easily manage all the independent actions that make up the code to cash cycle nothing but collaborating whatever the processes we have seen uh, right code uh, ordering building everything those uh, optimizing those processes with uh, collaboration between them <clears throat> makes uh, makes the process uh, in a good way and we can minimize the errors we can minimize the errors which will be happen at the court level or invoices on any orders anything yeah this will be helpful uh, this will be advantage advantage qtc we advantage in this way yes you can say this enables your sales people to deliver accurate information to clients quickly Uh, minimize order minimizing the order and invoicing errors and improve your data analysis and forecasting effect okay uh, that's it from and uh, whatever the information i have shown to you this is from this uh, link i will just share this presentation i i have just given you some basic info like what is code to process what are the steps if you guys uh, just look you guys go through this uh, link you can you guys can know better about this code to process in more detail way yeah can we uh, anyone have any doubts or anything awesome. thank you tabrich this is really helpful actually nowadays in interview they are asking what is code to cash process 
So for that reason only, I'm asking just to tab it, just to give some high level what is put to cash, a complete life cycle. So this will help you in the interview. Uh, this is a now common question for sales for CPQ. Okay. So please uh, just uh, prepare this flow. It will be helpful in the interview also. Okay. Thank you, Devraj. Okay.